still. Yeah, well, fed up with crime and wanting to take back their streets, neighbors in New Carlisle are looking into a new way to deter thefts in their neighborhood. Elise Coulter is there live tonight to show us how they plan to fight back. Neighbors tell me the car thieves are actually going around and checking to see if the door's unlocked and going inside looking for cash, shutting it quietly so no one can hear. But now they say they have a creative way to stop it all. There have been a lot of car uh, break-ins. William Lindsay lives in a quiet New Carlisle neighborhood, but lately that hasn't been the case. It's people's leaving their vehicles unlocked. I myself has been hit four times. One time they got me about 10 bucks and the rest of the time they just ransack it. They Fortunately, they haven't tore anything up. But it's that crime that has neighbors fed up. They're looking for ways to fight back, and Jeff Turner with Black Shield thinks he has the answer. It's kind of a neighbors watching neighbors or neighbors helping neighbors type theme. Turner owns a business in New Carlisle and knows what it's like to be a victim. He caught two thieves on his surveillance cameras stealing a $5,000 lawnmower. He believes it's this video that helped catch the bad guys. The cameras served a crucial part of um, helping with that investigation. So Turner wants to turn home surveillance cameras into a network of private eyes. You could really monitor 16 different locations. Then if you see someone walking down a sidewalk that looks suspicious or breaking into a car or that type of thing, you could report it. Neighbors watching out for one another. I think it will help. It will cut down on crime once the word gets out that you could be videoed uh, doing whatever you're doing, your criminal activity. The surveillance system is still in the early stages, but Turner tells me that he could have it up and running in the next four to six weeks. For now, reporting live in New Carlisle, Elise Coulter, Fox45Now.com. All right, Elise, thank you. And the owner of Black Shield says he hopes to set up the system at little to no cost for residents. He said they would use cameras already set up and put them on a closed circuit only a few would have access to.